Hi, YouTubies. It's me, Zachary Michael. Actually, I just got real nervous that, um, well, we're just going to go. I just, somebody remind me to look and make sure it's still recording at some point because I just realized I was like, oh, I'm really nervous it's going to do that thing where it's like, oh, there's not enough space or whatever to save your recording and then it's only going to record the first seven minutes or something. I don't know why I got nervous that that's going to happen today, but I also don't want to like, potentially open up my whole like folder and stuff on screen and then expose myself. <laughs> so I'll just, we'll just check in and make sure that, um, make sure that it's still recording in like five, 10, 15 minutes, whoever, whatever. Um, I might not say anything about it while we're recording. I might just look down and do it, but, or I might say something. It actually really doesn't matter. Anyways. Hi, YouTubies. I bet you're wondering <laughs> why the lighting is so bad. And that's because I'm on like day four, five of dealing with a migraine. Well, today's not really migraine levels. Today's just headache levels. And so I didn't, I was like, I think I could get through this if I just don't turn on all the studio lighting. <laughs> and I also took some medicine before this. I took an, an Excedrin pill before um, I started streaming today. So I'm hoping... We can get through it. It may still be on the shorter side of a of a reaction today. What was that noise? Did y'all hear that? Did y'all just hear a ding? Oh, it's like a car outside, like a car's brakes outside. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Uh, James? <laughs> no, I'm fine. I thought I heard a ding. It, like, honestly sounded like the ding that, um, that, like, Noel's phone makes. But Noel is not here. So <laughs> that would not, that would be real creepy if that's what it was. But it wasn't. It was a car break outside. Anyways, whoo, YouTube, we're doing, we're off to a spectacular oh, start oh, today. Oh, <laughs> Hey Zach, happy seven months. I had a very minor operation today under general so I'm now home and all cozy resting up. I hope your headache goes away soon bestie. Um, Onyx Pearl, thanks so much for seven months of subscribing and I hope I hope you're getting some rest, taking care of yourself, love, and love, uh, love thanks for being here we, today. We. Thanks for choosing me to help you with your recovery. Can we speed this up? I gotta dump and go my Poa Poa rings. Zucky Musk, thanks so much for the bits. Appreciate it. All right, so anyways, um, let me make these bigger so you can, can read it better on screen. She actually has a number of videos that I think would be interesting. Um, maybe not this, like, Christmas treat one, because that just looks like desserts, and I don't know. For whatever reason... These girlies seem to know how to make desserts. Or at least follow a recipe to make some desserts. So here are the other options. There's four of the best canned cranberry sauce recipes ever. Which I'm like... Are people trying to make recipes out of the, the like... Canned cranberry sauce? Are people trying to do that? <laughs> There's also four unbelievable dump and go crock pot soups. Okay. And then there's also four amazing Christmas casserole recipes. Well, they're breakfast casseroles. So I think we'll pick between those three and we can do um we can do a little a little poll. What do you know about a little poll? <laughs> I only know about big polls. <laughs> we can do a little poll in the chat. Uh, I'll get it started, okay? No, no obligation, besties, for you to, um, for you to say in the chat what you want, because I'm about to put a poll for y'all to officially vote in. Okay, all right, new poll. Which Mandy video will we watch? Uh, we'll put canned cranberry sauce, dump and go crock pot, or Christmas casseroles. <laughs> Christmas casseroles. I don't know why I laughed like that. 
All right. So there's your there's your chance. What do you know about a north? No, ain't nobody said anything about a North Pole. What does Mandy know about a Christmas box? Now where did you see Christmas box? <laughs> Can we watch them all? Uh, I'm not opposed to watching some of them later. I don't think, I don't think with my frail condition today that I can watch all three of them. I don't think with my frail condition today. Scroll, bestie. Are you telling me what to do? Are you telling me what to do? <laughs> Are you telling me what I need to do here? You asked about the box. Okay. Well, I'm scrolling and I'm not seeing anybody talking about a box. <laughs> I'm just playing with you all. It's really fine. Ooh, the, the Christmas Cassies. The Christmas. Here's my worry about the Christmas Cassies. I mean, there's already 49 people that have voted for Christmas Cassies, by the way. So I'm not influencing anything here. But my concern about the Christmas Cassies is that there's nothing Christmas about them, which is gonna maybe be the joy, you know? <laughs> maybe that will be the joy of of watching this video is when none of them are uh, contain anything Christmas related. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of making me think like um like some of my guesses might be that she'll make like monkey bread. Monkey, I don't know if this is a thing everybody does on Christmas or a common Christmas tradition, but, like, my mom always, every Christmas morning, she always made monkey bread, which essentially, the way my mom made it, at least, is she would take, like, a bunt pan, and she would get, like, rolls of, like, Pillsbury biscuits, and she would, she, she would cut them up into four, and then you roll the, that and, like, a, a, like, cinnamon sugar... You roll the little bits of biscuits in a in a little um, cinnamon sugar mixture. You bake it in the in the oven, and then you also pour like a like sugary syrupy. I don't know how she made that, but there's some kind of like sugary syrup that she made, and then she she poured it all over the top of the the cake or the the butt pancake situation. And then the other thing is that since since my brother had kids and we started going over to, well, I don't know. We The other thing we would have a lot on Christmas Day is when my brother had kids, we would go over in the morning to watch his kids open up their presents. And he always made, um, he always made breakfast pizza. So essentially, it, it's not like, when I say breakfast pizza, I mean there was like a crescent roll dough on the as the crust topped with like eggs cheese bacon sausage um but i think there were a couple times where he made like a like some kind of like egg cheese bacon casserole type of thing so those are kind of my predictions of things she could show us <laughs> in, in this christmas casserole video uh, but let's see. Uh, go ahead, if you're ready to get started, if you're ready to get started, go ahead and put some 69s in the chat. I just want to give the official breakdown of votes for, for the people not watching on Twitch. Uh, Christmas casseroles won with 73% of the vote. There were 55 people who voted for it. And the other two options both got 10 votes each. So it was a pretty wide margin. Um... So there you go. Did anyone else expect Zach to start singing, but I still get the sausage? Eggs, bacon, grits, sausage. <laughs> Can you open the pull up again? Nope. It's, it's done. It happened. It's over. <laughs> it's finished. It's finished. Well, the poll is over. You missed it. As a prediction, can we do... Oh, we can do We can do a prediction of how many recipes use Badia. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, my gosh. Poe, 
Poe, we're, what we're not going to do, bestie, we're not doing this. Come here. Poe. This little shit. He does not, he does not listen. He does not listen. <laughs> Once he comes back here, though, I'm going to shut the door on him so he can't hear the people in the, the stairwell as well. Okay, how many, how many... How many recipes will use the Badia Complete? So what are the options here? There's four recipes, so it's possible none of them. And it could go all the way up to all four of them. So your options are zero, one, two, three, or four. Let me open up the, the poll for you all, or the prediction. The prediction, and now I'm going to shut the door on Poe. I will say, little Poe, I don't think, was feeling super great earlier. He had, like, a kind of, like, one weird bowel movement. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that, aren't we, buddy? Aren't we? Yeah. That's just what everybody in the chat wanted to know about was your weird bowel movement <laughs> that you had earlier. My cousin just stopped by. Did I miss anything important? Well, Jamie, if you are interested in participating in the Christmas casserole prediction, you can uh, you can do that now. It's how many recipes are going to use Badia Complete. Um, okay. 10-minute um, check-in for the recording. Yes, we're still recording. It says we're recording. Thank you so much for the check-in, Rosette. Thank you so much much appreciate it <clears throat> all right so the full <laughs> the full title of this video by the way it's so long it's so long i feel like most people are not going to read past like maybe here four mouth watering christmas breakfast casserole recipes you must try bar quick and easy recipes all right, quick and easy recipes. <clears throat> so here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Y'all y'all got your votes in? Y'all got your votes in? <laughs> Isn't this the person who used the same recipes in two videos? It sure is. She deceived us, and I'm back, back, back again. I can't stay away from Mandy from managing the maze. I can't stay away from her even after the deception. Even after the deception, I'm back. I'm back, back, back again. <laughs> All right, I think I already asked y'all to do 69s, right? So let's just, let's just get to get to. All right, let's, let's get to get to. If, if, let me know if I need to adjust the volume anywhere. What's better on Christmas morning than an easy breakfast casserole? I could think of probably a lot of things. <laughs> I, I think I could think of a lot of things that were are better on Christmas morning than a, than an easy breakfast casserole. <laughs> Dick from my boyfriend. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is my problem? Jesus Christ, Zachary Marie, <laughs> Zachary Marie. <laughs> Oh, I'm muting the, wait, live by, live by grace and walk in faith. I'm muting the music just in case YouTube wants to, to play with me. Oh, wait, it's still, it's still going. Wait, are, is that her family? Wait, wait, wait. I've never seen her family before. Okay. All right. Okay. Come on, dogs. Come on, dogs. Okay, Mandy. I just, I think she did say that, like, her children are, like, adult age. She just doesn't look old enough to have children that old, you know? Three boys. I think she has two boys, and I think the other one's her husband. I think that's her husband. Oh! Oh! Girl, girlie's back. Wait. <laughs> The, the muting is really throwing me off. Okay, she's back. Hey y'all, I'm Sammy and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing a four of the most delicious but easy. Also, do, do y'all need some subtitles? Let me put those on too. 
Uh, with that subtitle in mind, wouldn't you think the birth of Jesus Christ be the best part of Christmas morning? No! No, little birdie. Nothing's better on Christmas morning than an easy breakfast casserole. Not even the birth of Jesus. Breakfast casseroles for a busy and hectic Christmas morning where you just want to spend time with your family. That's so true. So, let's That's go on so into true. my kitchen and get to cooking. Let's Come see. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> that little... That little, that little, okay, that's camp. <laughs> that's looking camp in the eye. All right, <laughs> not a fucking, why is everything a hash brown casserole? That's not going to help the headache, Zach. <laughs> that's not going to help the headache. <laughs> why is everything a fucking hash brown casserole? <laughs> Not my my ear holes gave me a headache. I'm so sorry. It looks fine. It looks it looks it looks edible, but we for sure have seen some iteration of this. I just hope she didn't just reuse the exact same footage again, because then I really am gonna be mad. I really am. I really am. I, I like this a hash brown casserole. hash brown casserole is so good and so easy. Now, why, why these fake-ass, canned-ass, gross-ass, dirty-ass-looking, miserable-ass-looking mushrooms down here in the corner? <gasps> easy to make. Just simple ingredients that you probably already have. So, let's get right into the kitchen and get to making this I'm not seeing Badia. easy breakfast. That doesn't she won't put Badia in, but I'm not seeing the Badia yet. All right, so we're going to put the bag of hash browns in the bottom. So then we're going to sprinkle it. Is, th is, this a, is this more reused content? <laughs> is this still... Have we seen... Have we... Is, this is the exact same footage? I'm so irritated. It really seems like it could be the same. With some salt and pepper. I kind of want to comment and just ask her how many times she's going to show us a hash brown casserole. Because this feels like a scam at this point. Sprinkle, I think, half of that cheese on here. Oh, because I called out the mushrooms the, the last time? And then half of the mozzarella. Now we're going to set this aside. I just don't want to be mean. I, got two I don't want to I don't want to be mean to her, but I'm like, girl, we got to we got to up the content game. <laughs> We've got to uh, This is the last time I'm falling for your scams. The, and what's also, by the way, what about this is Christmassy? What about this is Christmassy? I'm going to go ahead and get that bacon sauteed up till it's lightly brown, then we'll pull it out and we'll get the veggies in there next. All right, okay. so we've got some brownness on this. I don't want to... You got you got some what? All right, so we've got some brownness on this. I don't want to... Next. All right, so we've got some brownness on this. I don't want to... Next. All right, so we've got some brownness on this. I don't want to... We got some brownness on this. I, I don't... It just sounded so weird. I think I understand. She's just browning... The ham, I think, is what she's saying. Cook it too much because it'll. Cook I don't too know. Tough. I don't. I don't know that I saw anything brown on, on that ham, but but I think that's what she. I that that's kind of why it was so confusing. I wasn't sure what she was talking about. That ham looked very pink still. So it says to add another tablespoon of butter because butter makes everything better. <laughs> I think I have heard her say and that we're before. Add in the onions and the mushrooms. Well, in this case, the onions and the peppers. I was like, girl, where are the mushrooms? Next is the mushrooms. We're gonna go ahead and saute all this together. Okay. All right, so I've got 12 eggs in here. We're gonna add in the two and a half cups of milk. Okay. We're gonna add in some salt and pepper. Salt all around that rim, 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 rim tray. I was like, yo, tray. 
Do you I'm think you could buy me a bottle of rosé? Beaten. We're going to go ahead and set those aside and bring our casserole dish. All right, so on top of the potatoes and cheese mixture, we're going to go ahead and just kind of... Okay, there's no badia. I don't think she's got to put badia in here. Right over the top. Now we're going to come back in with... The mushrooms are really... The mushrooms are not it. <laughs> Honestly, I can't, I can't do mushrooms, period, but also them slimy ass, them slimy ass, like, canned mushrooms, I really can't do. <laughs> I really can't do those. Love, love, love my cream of wheat, wheat. She reused the same content because she was busy doing Christmas things, so that makes it christmas E. Huh. I, that feels like a reach, hi, YouTubies. <laughs> that feels like a little bit of a reach. And bacon, and then next we're gonna top it with the rest of the cheese, and pour all those eggs over. Yes, let's the go. Top of this. Let's go. Okay, so once I got everything else put on top of it, I did top it with some gouda and Havarti. Ooh, just like I love I getting topped with gouda. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Let's keep going. Pour the slices up into pieces. And I hope this the rest of the recipes aren't reused. Three hundred fifty degree oven for about. 35 to 45 minutes, just depending on your oven. All right, y'all, here it is. Hot and oh, fresh out of the oven. Hot and fresh out the sizzling. kitchen. <laughs> it smells absolutely delicious. I mean, if it didn't have the mushrooms, I'd eat it. If it didn't have the mushrooms, I'd eat it. But also, I am kind of concerned. I get a little concerned of the, like, egg casseroles where you just pour eggs over a bunch of stuff because I get concerned about the texture of the eggs. But I would eat this without the mushrooms for sure. Or at least try it, you know? The pepper or tomato garnish got me. I think that's tomatoes. Okay, this is sausage and cream cheese casserole. <laughs> Wait, what? Sa sausage and cream. I, this is new. This one is new. I don't think I've seen this one. I don't think I've seen this one at all. Wait, why? Why? I would think like maybe a sausage gravy casserole. Because like, you know, people eat sausage gravy and biscuits. Like that's what this looks like it could be. But the cream cheese part is throwing me off. This sausage and cream cheese crescent bake is by far a one of our absolute bake? favorites for Christmas morning. Okay. Or even Christmas Eve. Actually, love, it's love, perfect love for any kind of week. <laughs> Bestie, I need to get me some sausage for Christmas too. Oh, go get go get you some sausage. Everybody should be should fill their lives with sausage. Um, I love that she's like. This could be for literally any time. Yeah, I think that's the point. You literally added Christmas to this as like a buzzword so you could get some views during the holiday time. Ain't nothing about this Christmas specific. So let's get to making this. As you can see, that's all the simple ingredients that you will need to make this dish. Okay. All right, so to our skillet, I've got a pound of ground sausage i'm using jimmy yes Daniel just original. keep you can use just whatever keep, flavor you ain't want. nothing about this pan hot <laughs> she put the sausage in there cold <laughs> like no, no cooking is happening you want i have used the spicy before and it's still recording it we're good we're really good. good but this is what i had on hand so this is what we're going to go ahead and brown up okay so this okay. is brown up now, the She's recipe browned up. The, 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 there, there's a little bit of brownness. This is a cream cheese, which is just a normal block. But I have 12 ounces of the whipped, and we're going to use it all. Let's I do go. Like a little bit of extra cream cheese. This, in sounds, there. this sounds like rich as fuck. And by rich, I mean like not financially, not money. I mean like you got full on sausage and cream cheese. Like that's gonna be a fat bomb, <laughs> honestly. So we're just gonna put this whole container into the skillet. Yes, I mean, I guess you can't really this go, I love cream, cream cheese. So much better because it just gets right in there. I think it's gonna separate though. I feel like the way she's adding it to this is gonna, everything's gonna separate. 
and melts down a lot easier than if you had a block of cream cheese. So I highly recommend using the whipped if you can get it. Also, isn't the purpose of like whipped cream cheese to put on like bagels? It's like easier to put on bagels than like non-whipped cream cheese. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I kind of I kind of am still upset that this isn't like a sausage gravy moment and it's literally just cream cheese warmed up and mixed into some some sausage. Okay, so as you can see that has melted down in no time and uh -huh. it is ready. So we're just going to go ahead and shut this And up. and no seasonings. What why isn't she adding any kind of seasoning to any of these? These recipes so far today, and by any of them, I mean we're only on re recipe two, but. And this is a little bit smaller than a nine by 13. Not too much smaller, but. Okay, so that's, that's the crescent dough. I'll just go ahead and mash this into the bottom. I do have my oven set for 375 degrees. All right, so now that we've got this in there, we're just gonna take our cream cheese mixture mm. and dump that right on the top. Mm. Just spread that around as evenly as you can. I'm 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 still so fascinated by this as a as a concept. A lot of times these girlies will make recipes, and I can envision somewhere in my Midwestern ass family somebody making something like this. But this is this is wild to me. As a concept, this is not this is not it. All right, so now we're just gonna take our second I can't. sheet, put that on top, and then just kinda make it all fit together. Okay, so we've got oh. this egg wash ready. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over the top and then get it into a 375 degree oven for like I said, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Mm, that egg wash just pooling up in puddles on top of it. All right, y'all, here is that delicious I, I mean, sausage and cream cheese. I mean, here's the thing. Things I like, sausage, cream cheese, and, and crescent dough. You know, the Pillsbury crescent rolls. I like all of those things, so I'd probably like it all together. <laughs> if we're being honest, she should poke some holes for the vapor. I am kind of surprised she didn't poke anything because, um, like, like I was talking about those breakfast pizzas earlier. This is essentially like the same type of dough that my brother uses when he makes them. And he always like pokes the, the dough with a fork before he puts all the toppings and stuff on. He's like casserole bake. It is so good. I cannot wait to cut into this. Love, All right, so love, if y'all are love, liking this video this far, meat. please give <laughs> Canned meat. Thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up and click I that mean, subscribe button so you don't I miss just, any more delicious recipes. It's it's edible. It's edible. I would eat it. I, I think it would, the, the only flavoring here is coming from whatever seasonings the, the sausage, like the breakfast sausage makers put into that sausage, you know? Ooh, a French toast casserole. How this fun. French toast casserole will make everybody happy. So let's go ahead. Okay, and this, go. this I can get behind. I'll, I'll get behind a French toast casserole. Let's fucking go. Let's go in. This is everything that you are gonna need to make this. It's gonna be delicious, y'all. Delicious. Okay, so oh, I loved how she said delicious. That you are gonna need to make this. It's gonna be delicious, y'all. Delicious, y'all. <laughs> delicious, y'all. I love it because I struggle with that word all the times. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our butter and our brown sugar in here. You will need. It says a half a cup of butter, which is a whole Honestly, stick. don't panic. I think this is how my mom makes the, remember I was talking about the monkey bread? I think this is similar to how she makes that. I think it's like butter and brown sugar for the, like the syrupy stuff that she puts on top of it. No, it sounds like a lot. 
And then we're going to add... Y'all um, also being cook. fucking detectives of the world over here, looking to see what what her nail color is to decide if, if these were all filmed around the same time or not. Of brown sugar in there as well. We're okay, let's go. Let's melt together. Let's go. Pour this into the bottom of our casserole dish. Okay, so this is almost done melting together. We're going to put that aside. Love. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put six eggs into this bowl along with the milk vanilla this is and cinnamon honestly cinnamon. this is probably a lot like the like desserts when i talk about how these girlies don't really mess up the desserts i can't imagine messing this up right like a french toast casserole there's probably some pretty specific instructions she's following I'm going to add in our two cups of milk love 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 and my cream all we teaspoons of she makes food I would eat, then I would feel bad about myself after. Carl Pilking, thanks for the 1,000 biddies. That's very, very generous. Thank you. I appreciate love, it. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Has Mandy seen any of your reactions? Uh, not, not that I know of, Khadijah. If she if she has, I'm, I'm unaware. I'm unaware. Thank you for the bits. Of vanilla, so we're going to eyeball that. It's a little bit more. It's not going to hurt a thing. <laughs> And we're going to add in our two teaspoons. Oh, damn. Like okay, let's fucking go. If you don't just that's, put it back. Just to be clear, that's way more. She said two teaspoons. That's way more than two teaspoons of cinnamon, just to be clear. You need one teaspoon for the top with a tablespoon of brown sugar. So we've got that. Now we're just going to go ahead and give that a good whisk together. Let's okay. go. So we've got that whisk together. We're going to set this aside and cube up our bread. Okay, so the recipe says to use a half a loaf of French bread, so about eight ounces. We're going to use this thick sliced brioche mm, bread. So we're going to use That's how I like my bread, thick and <laughs> sliced. Half of this loaf. This bread is going to go absolutely perfect. That with looks it, like good it's bread. That sweet taste to it. That looks so like we're gonna some go good bread. And just cube this on up. And I'm just going to cut mine into... I kind of want some. I haven't really been eating bread, though. Fourths and then thirds. I've been, I've been eating lower carb. <laughs> I mean, in general, I usually eat lower carb, but um, I really haven't been eating bread. And that's where we're going to leave it at. So, it looks good. And get put right on into the bowl. It looks good. I also just know that some of these things I'm gonna end up eating when I go visit my family for the holidays. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna have a breakfast pizza for. Bre I know my brother's gonna make that. I know he is. All right. So now we got all that bread cubed up. It's yes, this is looking good. Mandy's Manny is fucking okay, so I've got our managing my maze right dish. now. Consider my maze managed by Miss Mandy right now, okay? Now it says to go ahead and put this brown sugar and a butter mixture right into the bottom of oh, your okay. casserole dish. All right. And it does say to kind of spread it around. Now we're going to add in the bread cubes. Let's go. And we're going to take up, our up. egg mixture. We're going to pour it right over the top. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into a I'm so hungry. 25 degree oven for 25 to 35 minutes. Okay, so now we're just making sure that this bread gets all down. Absolutely. Into that mixture. Absolutely. And then we're gonna take the remaining Absolutely. tablespoon of brown sugar and teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're gonna sprinkle that all over the I'm top sorry, of I'm this. I'm so hungry. And this, it's gonna go this into is, a 425. This is doing everything for me. It's doing everything I need it to. Degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. The Karens want to talk to Mandy about the way she's managing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Can we just appreciate the deliciousness Ooh. that is oh. before us? <laughs> I did kind of, I was kind of expecting the top to look a little more firm. I like a firm top, you know? I was kind of imagining that it would be firm so you could get some textures. Maybe it is. It all looks a little soft still. I think, yeah, I think it needs brown just a little bit more Maya. But it's, it is definitely giving soggy at the moment. <laughs> like, I, I think obviously the bottom parts of it are going to be a little, a little soft, a little soggy. I'm fine with that. I, but I want, I want multiple textures. It's actually what I love about my mom's monkey bread is that the parts that get the, like, the, like, buttery, sugary sauce on it. 
those like firm up and get little little crispy and crunchy, and then the insides are like soft and chewy. Mmm, I'm a texture girl, okay? I'm a texture girly. Absolutely. But I'm sure it does still taste good, but if you just are, don't want a soggy texture, you might not like it. Looks and smells delicious. I cannot wait to dig into I wanna this see French it plated, casserole. actually. Okay. Oh, she's adding syrup to it? The syrup seems a bit excessive, yeah? Isn't the syrup a little excessive when it already has the, like, gooey sweet stuff in the bottom of it? <laughs> that feels like a little bit much. That feels excessive. But I definitely would still eat that. <gasps> now here's the fucking gravy! Now here's the fucking gravy! We got the gravy! The gravy's here. This is what I was asking for back with that sausage and cream cheese. If this biscuit and gravy casserole don't speak comfort food straight to your soul, I don't know what will. So let's get straight on into making this, y'all. Okay. All right, so in this They always, they love, these girlies love to come out with like a bold claim of like, if this don't speak to your, your heart, and then I don't know what will. Or like what she started off with of like, what, what, what was it that she said? What was it that she said about the Christmas? Oh, what more could you want on Christmas morning than a, than an easy casserole? <laughs> Just like, it doesn't have to be like all crazy over the top like that. That's so disingenuine to me. Skillet, I'm just going to go ahead and brown up this one pound of just the regular old Jimmy Dean sausage. All right, so we've got this browned up. What we're going to do we is got just it. take your slotted spoon and get the all... The slotted spoon can catch the potato. <laughs> That's a reference to End of the Woods if I if my musical theater girlies are out here. Pull the sausage out, but leave that drippings in the bottom and that's what we're going to add. Leave that drippings. Start our roux for our gravy. So I've taken all of that sausage out. We're going to add in okay. a cup of butter. Come on, come on, Rue. Come on, together. gravy. We'll right, so to this butter, we're going to add in a third cup of flour. Okay, so I love a roux. Until that flour cooks down a little bit. All right, so we have gotten that browned up. What we're going to do is love, take our two love, cups ooh. of milk first. Sweet. And Khadijah, thanks for your third month of um, subscribing with Prime. I appreciate that. Go slow with it. And stir as you go until this gets all the way smooth. That you we'll... Now, that didn't get all the way smooth, and you just dumped it all in there, but okay. Cool. Um, get ready to put the casserole together. All right, so I was looking a little now, lumpy, but I'm glad it all salt. worked out. And pepper just to taste. So, however much or however okay. little I want. love a peppery gravy. If you're going to make me some fucking biscuits and gravy, it better be at least a little bit peppery. Stir that together and we're going to put it off to the side. All right, so now Where's we're going to go Where's the Badia? Y'all, she said, I don't use Badia for breakfast casseroles. I'm so sorry. Our egg mixture put in the bowl and get it whisked together. So we're going to use six large eggs, a half a cup of milk, Two cups of shredded cheddar cheese okay. and salt and pepper to taste. Yes. We're going to whisk that together. Yes. What What's a casserole if it doesn't have a fucking lot of dairy in it? You know? you got to have the dairy. Alright, so we've got everything in there. We're just going to go ahead and whisk that together. Okay. Into a sprayed casserole dish. We're going to dump our egg in Oh, this is just a, in a, an egg dump recipe again kind of break up that cheese because it all wanted to dump out in the middle. I took out a half a cup of the sausage. We're going to sprinkle uh -huh. the rest right over the egg. Okay. Mixture. All right, so we've got the biscuits out. What we're going to do is just place them even oh. in our casserole dish. Oh! We have eight biscuits, so it should work out just perfect. <laughs> I guess I guess I knew it was um, I knew it was Biscuits and gravy. I, I hadn't yet thought about how the biscuits were going to come into play. <laughs> I hadn't yet thought about that part. 
honestly, at this point, I think I'd rather just have biscuits and gravy with, like, eggs and sausage on the side if I wanted it, you know? (laughs) I kind of feel like, I think, but I guess in this case, I guess the thing about, um, about a casserole on Christmas morning is what she already said, which is you can just have it ready to go and put it in the oven and have it bake so you can spend time with your family while they're opening up presents and stuff. But I think I'd rather just have them all separately. I think it's going to be fine. I think it'll be okay. I'm just saying I think my preference would be to have it separate, you know? Because also, here's the thing. When you combine what we really need to talk about, what we really need to talk about, the part that's most upsetting to me. (laughs) And when I say upsetting, I mean, like, none of this has any consequences for my own life. Um, What we need to talk about is when you think that you're scrambling up eggs and adding cheese to the the eggs when you scramble it all like she just did, you're not even going to know that cheese is there. You're not even going to know it's there. Okay? You're, it, that cheese is all just going to come one with that egg, and you're not even going to notice it when you eat it, which is why you need to just have the cheese separate. You know? Add the cheese later. Or don't add the cheese at all. On this, you're already going to add a shit ton of gravy to the top of it. I don't think you need the cheese. Anyways, just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Your streams always brighten my day so much. Thanks for being amazing. B.R. Miller, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much for the bits and the and the kind words. I appreciate it. So we've got our biscuits in there. Now we're going to take half of this gravy mixture and go right Check over recording, the Bessie. Oh, it's... <laughs> Y'all are doing the the best. It is still recording. I think we're good. I think we're going to be good for the day. Okay, so we're just going to kind of spread that gravy around just a little bit. I also, my other concern, my other concern about this is why are we adding the gravy on top of the uncooked mixture? You know? (laughs) I feel like wouldn't you want to like cook the egg, cook the biscuits and then add the gravy? Because I I would imagine the the biscuits are going to be mushy. They're not fully going to be crispy, which like the crispy part of a biscuit is an important part of a biscuit and gravy. Okay. It's a very important part of it. Like, again, it's the textures. But I'm also like, is the gravy going to mix in with that egg mixture? You know? Like, that's my other concern. This gravy looks pale. What do you mean? It looks like a normal, like, white gravy. To me. I know some places gravy is brown and things like that. But this is, this looks like a standard biscuit and gravy gravy. You know? Okay, so we're just going to kind of spread that gravy around just a little bit. And then we're going to add I'm bothered more that cheese and then the rest of that half a cup of sausage. I'm bothered that she's adding the, the gravy right now. That feels that feels not correct. Now we're out of shredded cheese. Oh, and then we're... the sliced Sargento cheese. So we're just going to put that Why? right on the top. Why? 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 And then take that other. Although I will say, that you reserved and sprinkle over the top. <laughs> what what I will say, what I will say, and I don't know if this is every Hardee's ever in existence, but at the Hardee's I worked at, we had this this secret menu item uh, for the breakfast menu that was called the Herald. Like people knew to come in and say, like, I just want a Herald, and the Herald was a biscuit, one biscuit in the, in the container, in the biscuit and gravy container, you put, um, an egg on each half of the biscuit, slice of cheese on each half of the biscuit, add some hash rounds to the top of that, and then pour gravy all over it. Actually was very good. (laughs) Actually was very good. Had way too many of those as a, as a person in my hometown who worked at the Hardee's. Okay. But this feels, this all feels so counterintuitive. 
So now this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes until those biscuits and everything is cooked all the way through. The love, remaining love, gravy love my cream will be wheat, drizzled wheat. over the- There's no way she's never caused food poisoning with this kind of war crime cooking. I mean, it looks like every, well, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what the eggs are gonna look like after all of this is done, but I think, I think she'll be fine the top of this when you get ready to serve it all right y'all oh Here it is hot that oh oven and it is still sizzling i need to see what the i need to see what the biscuit looks like inside of there that's what is really gonna be how i how i make a judgment about this because ain't no way that biscuit is fully cooked it's gonna be absolutely delicious it's hard to see because it's smothered in gravy. <laughs> Surely that's not, like, is that the biscuit right here? It looks wet. <laughs> it's giving not cooked to me, but I don't know. That's a, that's a wild one. That's probably, I mean. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. She is putting all of these good things together and ruining it in the process. Oh, I agree. I I agree. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Like this right here now. Well, that the thing is, it's looking really wet. But remember that under this piece of cheese right here, I don't know if you can see my mouse moving, but under that piece of cheese, there's a layer of gravy and then the biscuit. So the wetness could be the gravy. That's not this gravy, because there's this gravy, there's the cheese, there's another layer of gravy, and then there's somewhere in here's the biscuit. It's just, I don't think it's for me. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. <laughs> How am I supposed to taste the goodness of the biscuit in these taste conditions? Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the biscuit. <laughs> we we got to do that. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Oh, oh we got Alright, thank you for indulging me. <laughs> thank you for indulging me and uh thanks for thanks for those bits, um, Carly. I appreciate that as well. <laughs> All right, y'all, that right, is it for today's video. I truly hope it gave you some new and delicious ideas of some well, casserole. Well, it, it could have given me new and delicious ideas if this was at the 15,000th fucking hash brown casserole I've seen you make on this channel. To make for Christmas morning that will make your life just a little bit easier. If you are in need of prayer, please let me know. Please, yes. And I would be honored to I, pray for you. I need, I need a prayer. <laughs> that we never have another fucking hash brown casserole on this channel again i need i need we need to pray for that if y'all enjoyed this video please give me thumbs ups leave me comments below and share the video the that would help me out tremendously taste the and goodness until next of the time, biscuit i wish you all nothing but the very best okay God bless bye work bestie <clears throat> Give me a second. Merry Christmas, Mandy. Um, can't wait to see the next new exciting uh, way you make <laughs> hash brown casserole on your channel. Always a fave in my house. Lila's XO XO Zach. <laughs> Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. I don't know about everyone else, but when I make Sammy's recipe, who's Sammy, first of all? Um, I, when I make Mandy's recipes, <laughs> I found myself having to slip into my sweatpants for the maximum experience. But in this case, my pajamas instead. So good. <laughs> um, Mandy, you did it again with another winning recipe ideas video. Nailed it. The biscuits and gravy casserole had me drooling. And the hash brown sausage casserole at the beginning was fantastic as well. That didn't even have sausage in it, did it? Didn't the hash brown casserole have... Ham in it? 
Were you even, Stacy Russell, were you even paying attention? <laughs> were you even paying attention? One, once again, all three are home runs. All three? Cindy Collins, there were four recipes. Which one wasn't a home run? <laughs> Which one, Cindy? Which one? <laughs> Check your clips, bestie. My clips? I don't, I can't, you can link me to a clip if you want me to watch it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to see that currently. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Cindy. Taste the biscuits. Take the goodness. Now, listen, Miss Alma Trumbull, she's in all of these girlies videos. She's, she's in Vanessa's. She's in... Southern Wife Everyday Life. She's in um, the Dollar Tree Girlies. She's in, uh, she she shows up in old Jen Chapin's and uh, Frugal Fit Moms. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this what you wanted me to see? <laughs> All right, thank you for indulging me. Thanks for indulging me once again. Taste the biscuit. <laughs> Taste the good. Miss uh, the biscuit. <laughs> All right. Great. Wonderful. Stunning. Amazing. YouTubies, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done, YouTubies. Um, oh, I should give the points, though. There was zero Badia complete seasoning used. Only seven people in the chat picked that as, as what they thought would be the winner. So congratulations to those seven people. Enjoy all your free made-up imaginary points. And, um, YouTubies, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. That's all I got. I got to say goodbye to Twitch separately because they're special. Um, bye, YouTubies! Subscribe! See you later. See you next time. Bye!